In this sub-lesson, we'll see how to protect Nexus switches using the COP policies. COP policy or control plane policing is a security feature that leverages Nexus hardware to regulate or limit the traffic that is destined to CPU. There might be scenarios uh, in which the traffic which is supposed to be hardware switched but is getting software switched. In such scenarios, the traffic will be punted to CPU and it is important and critical in a data center environment to protect the CPU from those unwanted scenarios. In such scenarios, COP can be of great help. The Nexus switch comes by default enabled with COP policy. The COP policy provides distributed policing mechanism that is synchronized across the individual forwarding engines. It is applied on the input QS policy to special interface called the control plane interface. The COP policy implements the exception logic which separates the control and the data plane packets. The classification of the COP policy allows the users to identify DOS attack packets and service policies which allows you to mark, drop, or police the traffic which is hitting the CPU. The COP policy classifies the traffic into various kind of packets. First is the receive packets. These are the packets that are destined to the address on the device itself. That is, the destination is residing on the Nexus switch. Multicast packets. These packets can be classified as directly connected sources or multicast control packets or multicast partially switched packets. The partially switched packets are those in which the switching or forwarding of the multicast stream is not completely based on the hardware, but it's getting replicated and getting punted onto the CPU and getting software switched. Copy packets. The copy packets are used to classify the features such as um, ACL log options or copy of the original packet made and sent to the supervisor. The different type of packets that are sent to the supervisor are ACL log copy or the fib unicast copy or multicast copy. Those packets can be punted to the CPU and can be marked under the copy packets classification. Exception packets. Some packets that need special handling and the hardware may not be able to handle them. Therefore, they go to the supervisor. For instance, if the destination is not present in the line card hardware programming, in such a scenario, the packets are sent to the CPU in order to get information about what needs to be done for those packets. In such a scenario, the exception packet classification will come into play. Redirected packets. Redirected packets are the packets that are sent by features such as DHCP snooping or dynamic ARP inspection for the supervisor for the packets to be deeply inspected. Glean packets. If the MAC address for a particular IP address or the next hop IP address is not present in the FIB on the line card, the packet gets sent to the supervisor so that an ARP request can be generated for the next hop or the host. Broadcast non-IP packets. The broadcast MAC plus IP unicast and multicast MAC plus IP unicast are under this category in which the classification happens for broadcast plus non-IP packets. The Nexus platforms installs the default COP policy and boots up with the default COP policy named uh, COP system policy. The default mode of the COP policy on NXOS is the stick profile. The NXOS um, also comes with different profile settings for COP uh, which uh, you can choose based on your network environment. If you want to use strict, moderate, lenient, or dense mode. And dense mode is usually used when you have more F2 line cards in your chassis, especially in the case of Nexus 7000 switches. But otherwise, it is better to use one of the strict, moderate, or lenient modes. Strict is the default uh, COP policy mode, and it is um, comparatively giving you more security or more protection of the CPU as compared to the other because it has more aggressive uh, rates for uh, dropping or taking actions on the traffic that is hitting the CPU as compared to moderate or lenient. So you might want to choose these values or the profiles accordingly. Uh, apart from the profiles, you can also create your own COP policy. You don't have to always use the system-defined or predefined COP policies. You can create and modify the existing COP policies, uh, but not the existing profiles. You will have to create a new or copy the configs from one of the existing policies and then modify that config in order to use it under the control plane interface. 
some of the most common uh, or predefined classes that comes with the Nexus Core policy are critical, uh, important, management, monitoring, exception, and undesirable. There are other classes as well, and uh, with over the period of time, those classes have differed uh, from version to version because of the enhancements and the added protection that has been added uh, by Cisco NXOS software. The critical is used for um, the IP precedent 6 traffic or primarily the routing protocol packets such as BGP or BFT. Such packets are categorized under critical class. The important category is or the important class is for the redundancy protocol such as GLBP, VRRP, HSRP. Um, management class is used for your management traffic such as Telnet and SSH. Uh, monitoring class is used for ping and trace route traffic, whereas the exception is used for ICMP unreachables and IP options. And all the unwanted traffic comes under the undesirable class. Uh, you will also find classes related to multicast, IGMP, uh, DIAGs um, on, on the COP policy on the Nexus switch, uh, but these are some of the, the well-known and the most common that uh, um, usually require modification based on your network requirements. We'll now take a quick look at the Nexus uh, COP policies uh, on the Nexus switch and um, see around the way how to create your own COP profile. You can look at the existing configuration uh, using the command show COP profile and it lists the profiles that are available on the Nexus OS. Uh, operating system, so you can use uh, strict to look at the configuration on how the configuration looks like, and uh, also at the end it shows you the policing rate that it's configured with, or the committed burst that it's allowing for different set of traffic. You can use this to form your own COP policy, or you can look at the other uh, profiles to see the difference uh, on how the rate or the BC values are calculated. In order to create your own new copy of the policy, you can create um, cop copy profile. So we say cop copy profile um, strict suffix customized cop, and uh, it's taking an invalid argument. Let's uh, look at the physical hardware. Um, I can connect to one of the physical hardwares. Hey, uh, let me connect to the device, okay? So cop copy profile, suffix, uh, strict, suffix, custom. Uh, we name it custom, and the new profile is created. And if I want to look at the show run cop and uh, grep on the policy map, I can uh, see the new um, custom uh, cop policy that is applied to the control plane. And this is the one that I can uh, modify. I cannot modify the default strict profile or the moderate or the lenient profiles, but anything custom that I create, uh, I can modify that based on my network requirements and uh, then use it. So if I want to look at show cop profile and say strict, I get an understanding on how the configuration looks like and what is the rate at which the, each of these are configured. But um, apart from that, I won't be able to make any changes on the default four profiles. So now if I want to go ahead and look at the policy map, so I can do show run policy map, show run pipe section, control plane, and I can look at the custom policy that I have created I already have um, all these uh, copied from the strict profile, and then I can go ahead and make the changes. Once I have done the necessary changes, I can go ahead on the config mode and say uh, control plane, and under the control plane, I can say service policy input cop profile strict custom, and this will be applied to the control plane interface rather than using my existing policy I will now be using my customized strict policy or strict profile for COP on Nexus switch.